What is it that sets a city apart? What intangible element causes some communities to strive for the best, to push the limits, while others may be satisfied with the status quo? How is the city of Imperial pushing the envelope to greater heights and faster speeds? stuck in the clouds. That's just the way it gets done in this town. It's the people. It's the place. Welcome to Imperial. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of the great city of Imperial, Mr. Jeff Dale. Now you can't say you've never come to something like this before. But staff, I have to say, I, I'm completely blown away by this. And it means a whole lot to me. I know that, uh, let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> the city is the fastest growing in this, in, excuse me, the city is the fastest, fourth fastest growing city in California based on the most recent figures available. Pushing the envelope for new growth is normal for this community. Imperial's population is January 1st, 2013, I wanted to lie and say it was 18,000, but it's 16,148. A soaring 256 new residential building permits were issued in 2013, valued at over $55 million. This equates to a pro approval of over 400,000 square feet of new housing. Six new housing projects are currently active in the city. A new 140-unit apartment complex near the intersection of Labrishery and Treshill has an approved zone change and building plans are in preparation. The Worthington Square project, a 52-unit, five-story project in downtown, has been <coughs> contemplated for years and is now in the final financial process. This landmark project will push the envelope for height in core of downtown, like the multi-story structures that used to make up the heart of Imperial. The city is proud to highlight the major reconstruction of N Street, the first phase in which came under budget, and so a second phase to complete the street is underway now. <coughs> N Street was barely a street, and I know that for a fact because I used to drive my dad's truck through there really fast, sliding around the corner there. <laughs> can't do that now. Um, now the city's positioned to welcome a new business and manufacturing corridor. city has a need for other major road repairs. In the spirit of good flight plan, the city completed a pavement management plan in the fall of 2013. New road projects such as signalizing the Highway 86 at Neckel intersection, repaving areas of Aiton Boulevard east of Cross, and signalizing the busy Aiton Dogwood intersection are preparing for construction within the next few months. The city is keeping up with air quality standards with a new slow fill natural gas station that will service fleet vehicles in a cost and effective manner. One of those fleet vehicles is a new street sweeper acquired through a grant program. The sweeper is now in service 
and staff is busy keeping Imperial beautiful. Not only are the streets and road important for infrastructure, so is water and sewer service. Major repairs were made in the past year to the city's wastewater system. Im improvements, reconstruction of lift stations and repairs at the treatment plant were required to continue service that on a peak day is over 1.7 million gallons of treated wastewater. A new booster station is under construction to enhance water distribution system throughout the city. The city is also replacing its outdated operating system at the water treatment plant with the upgraded SCADA computerized features. The city has added staff in both systems this past, past year as recommended by state standards, once again keeping our team and equipment ready for quick response. Imperial is the center of the valley when it comes to economic development opportunities. Often forgotten, Imperial is a big part of El Centro's <coughs> MSA because we share a common border with our neighboring city. This federally designated region includes both the cities of El Centro, Imperial, and has been recognized for its marked regional economic improvement from 70th to 29th place out of 179 small city regions in the last year. However, this ranking could be threatened by any major closures in the region. Strategically situated to serve the entire valley population, we are proud of our business community, which generates the second highest sales tax per capita rate in the Imperial Valley. Downtown boasts a former print shop remodeled into a new commercial storefront, a new dance studio, tire store, karate studio, have signed on to occupy vacant units. Crazy Horse Western Clothing Store will be opening soon, providing a unique shopping experience for clothing, boots, and all items Western. A former furniture store is being remodeled into a new oncology medical office, and the Imperial Radiology site is expanding to better serve medical needs of Valley residents. Finally, the former General Dynamics building will soon celebrate a grand opening of Ricochet Family Entertainment Center. Ricochet includes indoor trampoline center, food service area, Mary Lynn's Country Store, while kids and adults of all ages enjoy pushing their limits on the trampolines and other activities. Mary Lynn's features a valley-wide selection of gifts, foods, collectibles for the discriminating snowbird or tourist, and local residents as well. Started last, starting last year, the cutting edge olive oil industry has also found a home in Imperial. Through a local farming partnership with the Temecula Olive Oil Company, is pressing local olives into tempting flavors of their famous, famous olive oil products, now for sale at the city's market day events. Dollar General's downtown site is still in a holding pattern for environmental issues with the state. And is that any secret? <laughs> We've got enough of those. Look forward to their quick resolution, allowing downtown Imperial to push away from the gate with another new building. Another project having difficulty getting off the ground is the Holiday Inn project. Through a series of infrastructure issues for road and utility access, the project is now in flight queue. Agreements have proceeded with Caltrans, IID, and other agencies to allow for construction of needed infrastructure, and we anxiously await this addition to our hospitality choices along with the roadway in. Imperial is one of only four communities in California to re receive a grant from the EDA in 2013. Our grant of three million was for the infrastructure that will serve the Holiday Inn. Additional office, restaurant, and medical facilities in the project, as well as neighboring commercial properties. This is one I like here. <laughs> Seaport Airlines came to the Valley last year and is constantly making improvements. Starting in March 23rd of this year, Seaport will be the first regional carrier in the U.S. to implement the Altea Reservation System. 
New features will allow travelers to interline connectivity with Alaska Airlines throughout ticketing to global destinations from Imperial. The city has contacted or contra excuse me, contracted for assistance at business recruitment opportunities and is working with regional partners on updated economic and retail data that can be used by all communities. Let's face it, where the city of Imperial pushes the envelope, the most is on, on our community events. We raise slaps ahead of other areas. Recently received a proclamation from State Senator Ben Wazo recognizing our efforts at using event tourism as an economic development tool. Farmer markets are common through California, but not like Imperial Market Days. Thanks to concerted efforts by staff, council, vendors, and partners alike, the Chamber of Commerce, we try almost anything. And believe you me, it's anything. <laughs> Six theme markets are held each year. This year's December event, case in point, <coughs> fell on Pearl Harbor Day. The event featured 50 tons of snow, a volcano, tiki towers, recognition for a Pearl Harbor survivor, a 40-style big band, cooking demonstrations. Speaking of cooking demonstrations, the county fire department still owes me a competition. Food comp, uh, coupons for our military visitors, breads, pies, produce, beer vendors, and all descriptions. Other markets include mechanical bulls, big screen <coughs> movies, farming obstacle courses, classic car shows, and beer barrel rollers. <coughs> Once again, stretching the limits, the city partnered on Aviation Day 2013 with the Wing Fest. We added a limited market day event and a chicken wing cook-off. Combined with volunteer committees, airplane flights for kids, and static displays, it was a great event to highlight the regional airport located in the center of the, center of the city. A Christmas lights decoration contest was brought back to life from many years ago, bringing back that special sense of community that only holidays can do. Awards were given in four categories, and winners were recognized in a city council meeting. To enhance that holiday spirit, the limits of creativity were stretched again with the Holly Trolley Light Tour. We partnered with ICTC and local <coughs> restaurants to provide an evening of food and fun. Two decorated Ivy Transit buses toured guests through the town with stops at local restaurants for a taste of specialty foods. Building up for the fast-moving holiday season also meant welcoming the annual Parade of Lights and tree lighting ceremony. The numbers of spectators and entrants keep growing for this event sponsored by the Imperial Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber sponsors the following day's Christmas in a small town craft and vendor fair. This year, like usual, was a great way to visit with family and friends from all over the valley and afar. And to advertise, mark, market our great downtown. The annual tri-tip cook-off has become a tradition in Imperial in a very short time. Teams from around the valley are judged for taste and quality. Spectators get a chance to sample some of the best beef anywhere. As a judge, I can tell you it was very good this year. Imperial is home to the California Men Winter Fair, now playing. The fair is a place to push the limits on how much snack food, we should have changed that to junk food. You can eat. <laughs> and still enjoy the animals, exhibits, entertainment, and rides. This year's racing returned to the historic dirt track, the expo. One race in the fall and another during the fair put the community first under the checkered flag. Not only does Imperial host many of the best events in the valley, the city is certainly or centrally located best to enjoy other signature events, including Brawley Cattle Call Rodeo, NAFL Central Air Show, featuring the Blue Angels, and many other events in Hopeville and in El, Cent in El Centro and beyond. Stri striving for the outer edge of the envelope is part of everyday life at Imperial Library. 
As they say, a mind once stretched never returns to its original shape. Is that true, Chris? <laughs> I like the books. The Literacy Center is helping clients daily who want to expand their limits, and the city is proud of the success rate. Knowledge is encouraged through reading programs, theme parties, contests, movie, and other multimedia materials available for quick checkout. Over 31,000 items were checked out, including 10,000 worth of new books obtained through a state grant. Staff has been working on a plan for expansion of the existing library using impact fees. Plans should be ready to present to the City Council in the next few months. Pure Library blows away the idea that libraries are quiet, boring buildings. Fly by and visit. The city is proud of outstanding summer pool programs, including the Red Cross swim classes and junior life, lifeguards. The annual Luau and Splash Bash provide for some cool fun in our summer heat. Cutting edge programs also include martial arts, music, and orchestra classes. And what could be pushing the envelope more than Rainforest Art Center? Open in early summer, the center is in the City Hall Annex building and hosts local and valley-wide art programs and classes. This program implemented the mosaics throughout the city which have become represented in our new logo and marketing campaign. Rainforest staff has worked with city staff on the design of a new sculpture park to be located in the City Hall complex. The site will, will include new sculptures, seating, and water features. Speaking of parks, the city modified its park maintenance service this year, no longer using prison crews. The services of a professional landscape company were hired to assist in maintaining many of the 11 park sites. Once again, this is the first and gives us more elevated success. Sky Ranch Additional Park has an additional park under development. The first is a site to include the tot lot, seating and grass turf space, Relocated from the original design, the new park site will be longer in scope and will reflect an aviation theme. Another, another site currently in draft design is a proposed dog park. The city has dedicated park impact fees and other funds for the project. The final location, design, and build out budget will go to the city council later this month. The developer is willing to assist with construction and we expect the park to be ready to serve canines and their owners by, the, by summer. Once again, with the help of the community, volunteer committee, Imperial will be pushing into new territory with the first dog park in Imperial Valley. Hold on to your helmets, but Imperial is also finalizing the environmental work for the new regional park on the north side of the city. The park will add to the amenities of community centrally located for tourism in Imperial Valley and beyond. The Imperial Police Department is here to maintain safety and community. In 2013, they responded to over 12,000 calls for service. These range from traffic stops, burglary, and theft. The department also coordinates with many local federal agencies on various task force and special assignments. The force now includes a school resource officer in cooperation with the Imperial Unified School District. The safety of our youth is critical to their well-being and our city's future. The department has one canine unit and just recently completed negotiations for a second unit. Formerly within another agency, these officers assist with public safety calls throughout the Imperial Valley. Fire service is provided through a contract with the Imperial County Fire. Last year they responded to 665 calls of service. These calls include emergency medical aid, natural gas leaks, bomb threats, and actual fire responses. Safety is an integral to our discussion regarding required upgrades to our regional emergency communication systems that will be critical 
for government focus in the near future. <coughs> Our public safety crews work as a part of a team, Team Imperial, on a daily basis, doing their part and more with threats occur to our community. City teams, like great race planes, don't just fly on their own. They have lots of help from behind the scenes. Office staff works very hard on things often not appreciated. They earn their wings every day. Yes, you do. Water billing and financial staff have seen nearly 25% increase in total accounts in just the last four years. Customer convenience is available with phone in, <coughs> online, and direct deposit, deposit payment processes. Nearly 50% of all accounts are now handled through these convenience services. Multiple resolutions, proclamations, agendas, and public notices need to be filed for City Council. Planning Commission and Library Board meetings, even government systems include more regulations and requirements. The RDA successor agency and oversight board are still working to resolve issues dealing with the transition of funding from the former redevelopment agency. Progress is being made, but time is still needed until bond monies can be spent on approved uses. Maintaining a good team Willing to go the distance is challenging. The city is still on the cutting edge with online application processes. Grant applications require reams of backup <coughs> materials that need to be gathered, collated, and maintained by planning and other administration staff. The city partners with other agencies providing human resource assistance to the ICTC and building inspection services to Hopeville and Westmoreland. A new website updated is in processes, process for a new fresh look in the World Wide Web. Increased convenience and service is a primary goal as we, as well as other ways to market positive attributes of the city. The city may be pushing the flight envelope for our community, but we are also working with neighboring stakeholders on several initiatives. One of these is the effort to bring the Navy F-35 Joint Strike Fighter home basing to L NAFL Centro. The city has contributed funding and staff time and effort to add thousands of jobs to our local economy. The city and the county and the city of El Centro are working together on a joint land use study to ensure that the military mission and economic impact of NAFL Centro is protected while allowing local areas to develop. The city also one of the team working to resolve animal sheltering issues that are increasing in Imperial County. This effort is already completed in a study reflecting what our regional needs are. Now the challenge is, to, is the implementation and funding. Partners including local stakeholders, the county, the city are working on a new Veterans Memorial to be located at the Municipal Airport entry. The concept is an Eagle Scout project that has gained regional support. Along with these efforts, we work regionally on digital communications, water and stormwater issues, and a variety of public safety programs designed to keep looking at what is better, faster, and more efficient to meet the new regulations, provide provide greater service to our constituents. If you're looking for a city that is comfortable on the cutting edge, willing to work outside the box, and striving for the best, Imperial is your community. On some issues we're just pulling away from the gate, on others we're moving down the runway, and on many we are test flying the limits of what local government can do. We're out in front, flying towards the winning pylons to bring home great service to our community. In as many ways as possible, don't hold back, come along for the ride, and earn your wings. <laughs>